Okay, so this video is going to show how to install the hooks uh, in the UV coral sanitizer, uh, which I recommend. I really like this unit for uh, decontaminating N95 respirators. And the idea is that uh, you can put a little uh, uh, shelf in here and then take your, your respirators and rest them on that shelf and close it up and hit sanitize and dial it up to 20 minutes and just let the thing run for 20 minutes it shines a very bright UV light on the face of the respirators it also reflects all around the chamber to come on the back side of the respirator on the strings etc now it's not perfect and it's not a proven N95 respirator decontamination method it's just the method that I use I think it's effective uh, but there's no independent study or anything like that I'm just sharing with you what my personal recommendation is okay so to use it for this purpose um, you, know, you notice when I open it automatically turns itself off it's got a safety mechanism which I really like but to use it for this purpose you have to make uh, you have to create this little shelf in here and it's very nice that um, it, the unit actually ships with this nice metal basket um, I did a video previously where um, I showed how to install this basket uh, into the unit and I showed where all the hooks went um, unfortunately the new uh, the new models have a slightly different basket um, so this was the old basket and you notice these little eyelets here and those were used to do the mounting uh, and now the the new baskets while they're the same size they don't have the eyelets anymore they're just slightly different in design and so it ends up you know changing where these these little metal hooks need to go inside of here to support that basket to make it a shelf so the metal hooks that uh, that I send at my web from my website disasterrepair.com are these uh, these nice stainless steel hooks they last they, they stick on really really well they come with a little protective face a uh, little sticker on the front that you can peel off uh, and then there are these shiny metal hooks that go in here like so okay so all told you need at least five of them to do this to support the shelf well you can use six if you'd like and I'll talk about where the sixth one can go but you at least need five of them okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the location of where these hooks go and I'll give you the dimensions I'll put it in the video so you, when you put yours in you don't have to try and figure it out yourself okay now I will say one thing it's very easy to place the hooks and accidentally stick it in the wrong spot if you do them gently when you place them in here very gently while you're making your, your measurements you can pull them right back off and replace them but if you stick them at all with any kind of force at all they'll stick against the wall of the chamber and they will not pull back off and the only way I know to get them back off without damaging anything is to take a hair dryer and put it on high heat for about oh, 10 seconds or so and warm up this this whole hook and then take the hair dryer away and just peel it off right now the hook will probably be ruined from that because the adhesive in the back may stick to the wall and you can pull it off or it may just get curled up a little bit so you'll have to use a new hook if you end up sticking one in the wrong location all right but so anyway I'll show you the location of where all these hooks go so you can go ahead and put them in your coral UV sanitizer for the purpose of decontaminating these N95 respirators so let's start with the back wall okay there are two hooks on the back wall and they're down uh, one and five eighths inches so if you if you fold up this little rubber here at the top and you measure from the lip of that metal down to the top of the hook it's about one and five eighths inches okay again it's not it doesn't have to be precise but it's one and five eighths inches and then if you go from this little existing plastic gray hook from the right edge of that over to the left edge of the hook should be right at about one quarter inch in other words this gap in here this space in here is about one quarter inch again it doesn't matter if it's precise but it's about a quarter inch and then that's where the first hook goes all right the second hook goes over to the right of it by one and three eighths inches so if I measured from left edge to left edge it's one and three eighths inches again if you're a little bit off it's not that big a deal the most important thing is to make sure that these things are in line that the tops are level okay so that way the basket sits on both hooks if one of them is low and one of them is high the basket only rest on one and it'll sort of sit uh, cattywampered a little bit all right so nice and straight and flush all right so that's the back wall let's take a look at the front wall all right so the front wall I only have a single hook mounted in here right now and what I've done is there's a seam that runs down the front wall all right if you go over one quarter of an inch that's where this hook will go okay so one quarter of an inch over from the seam is where the right edge of the hook will go and then it goes down three inches from the top so if you measure from the top metal down to the top metal of the hook it's three inches right 
And if you place your hook right there, over a quarter inch from the seam and down three inches, it's in a nice location to support the front of the basket, okay? If you wanted to add a second uh, hook, you certainly could. You could scoot one over here and put a second hook to help the basket sit on it as well. It's not actually needed because we don't need anything really, really sturdy for setting these lightweight masts on it, but you certainly could put another hook over here if you wanted to, all right? And it would go over the same distance the other one did. It would be one and three eighths inches from one edge over to the edge of the next hook, okay? In this case, I just put one hook. I found that was adequate. All right, let's take a look at the right and left sides. Okay, so the left side is easy enough. There's gonna be one hook on the right and left side. And they're gonna be down one inch, okay? The one on the left wall is just simply gonna butt up against this plastic gray hook that's already in the system, okay? So it's down one inch and just flush with that, all right? And then it doesn't interfere with the basket sitting in on those plastic hooks, okay? One inch down. Taking a look at the right side, it's very similar. There's no plastic hook to align it to, so you just go in the center of the wall and you go down one inch. Again, fold that up and you measure down one inch and set your hook there, all right? The purpose of the left and right hooks are just to rest the masks on, okay? The basket, it doesn't sit against those hooks. It only sits against the front and back hooks, all right? So I'll go ahead and turn it around and install the basket and show you how it all comes together. Okay, so the basket goes in with the curve to the right and the two hooks will rest uh, on this first metal bar right here and right here, okay, at the front of the basket. So I'll go ahead and place that in there. It goes like so, okay? And it sits nice and flush. The front of the basket rests against that, that front hook for stability. The two side hooks, again, are just for the mass to rest against. So once the basket is placed like that, you put the, your respirators in here like so. Again, the sides of them rest on those hooks on the side. You close it up and you do the sanitized thing and it will do a, I think it'll do a very nice job of, of exposing the mass to high ultraviolet light, which should decontaminate them. All right, so this is the method I came up with. Um, I couldn't find a product that was already, you know, sort of uh, made for putting mass very close to a UV light source. So this coral unit, I looked at a number of them. This was the best I could find. Uh, it fits two masks quite well. And again, you can use it for a number of things. You can put this basket in on the side over here. They make it where you can, you know, maybe decontaminate your phone or decontaminate your, your keys or other things like that. It goes in like that. Um, but by adding these additional hooks, it also lets you, you know, de uh, use it to decontaminate your respirators, all right? So you can get a really good buy on this coral unit. I'll put the details uh, either on screen or down in the comments. Um, I think, you know, they're running some specials. Um, I think they don't ship until maybe May. But in my opinion, as I've said before, I think this uh, coronavirus thing is gonna be going on for quite some time. Uh, certainly is expected to start back up again in the fall, even if it goes away in the summer. So I would really recommend you consider getting one. Um, I just think they're, they're just a really nice product to give you some, some peace of mind to be able to, uh, you know, these, these respirators are very hard to find. Once you get them, you wanna use them as many times as you can. So this gives you a way where you can decontaminate the surface of them so that you can reuse the mass, all right? Okay, so that's what I've got. Um, if you have some questions, feel free to go ahead and post them in the comments. Uh, and again, I'll put the appropriate links uh, if you're interested in one of these products. Or again, if you're interested in ordering some of these hooks, uh, you can get those at disasterprepare.com.